My name is Colton Solm and I am a Customer Technology Specialist with Landmark Implement. In this video we will discuss the John Deere Operation Center app and how it works in conjunction with your spraying operation. My John Deere Operation Center takes remote management of your field operations and equipment to the next level. The My Operations app connects with John Deere Operation Center empowering you to evaluate expected versus actual performance of job execution and machine utilization. Um, the first step you'll do is access uh, your app store and you'll navigate to the John Deere Operation Center app. Once it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and select the app and it will most likely ask you to sign in for the first time. As you can see, we've landed on our home page of the Operation Center app and we are currently looking at our work summary and uh, we can see an overview of our 2021 seating progress at the top of the screen. So as of now, um, we have completed 157 acres of our 3,611 acre um, total for our seating progress. If we were to select that option up top, we can select different parameters, um, whether that be application, harvest, um, and obviously seating can, can be selected here as well. Right now we have work selected. So as you can see, there's different date ranges here with different uh, tasks that have been completed. Um, if we go back to June 18th, 2020, you can see that there was a post application applied to demo field number 17. They applied 185 acres of 182 acres, so apparently there was some overlap on that, that field. Um, we can come in here and select an application, get an overview of actual rate, target rate, average speed, product use, um, and your start and end time. From here we have two different options. We can select our map or our analyze. Um, if we select our map, we can basically see an overview um, from that equipment on the uh, target field in our application map. If we were to go back to our home page, our second option there is Analyze. So if we select that, it's going to show us the different products that, that were in that tank mix, um, the average rate, the total, um, the applied date, and the speed at which it was applied. So if you need to come back here for record keeping, print off a report, any of that, you, you have the ability to do so. Up at the top right corner, you can see that you can actually delete this layer, or there's the little pencil button. If we select the pencil, um, we can edit either the application, the se season, or the area applied. So let's say, for instance, maybe the acres are off a little bit. We can select this area applied, come in here and say maybe it was on our carrier water, select edit, and then we can actually um, make adjustments here to whatever the actual area was. We would hit save, but I'm going to hit cancel since that was that was actually the uh, correct area. And then we'll cancel back out of this screen. So this is just giving you an overview of what you did with that application. Um, each of these products listed throughout here and then your totals and your averages down at the bottom of the screen. If you needed to export this map um, or this summary, you can see this little box with the arrow up um, in the green circle in the bottom right corner. If we select that, we have the option to export that as a PDF or a CSV file. If we go back to our home page, we can close out that application and continue to scroll through here and see what else ha has been done in the past. Uh, if we go back up to the top here where work is selected, we can select our notifications tab. Um, which just basically gives you an overview of anything related to your account. So notifications from machines connected through JD Link and your operation center will appear in this list along with any files that were created, any information that was pulled in. So for instance, it shows here on January 19th, we had actually created a new setup file and that setup file is available. You can also see on January 18th, our combine had given a couple codes just letting us know fuel level was low. The third option at the top of the screen is all. So that's going to combine all your notifications along with your work summary 
and uh, kind of give you a rundown of everything that's happening in your operation. At the bottom of your screen, we were on the Home tab. Now we're going to move over to our Map tab. So from here, you can actually zoom in, zoom out, and see all the different fields and operations on your farm. If we were to zoom in on a separate field, we could select that field. And then at the top of the screen, we have the option to uh, select which layer we would like to view. So for, for this case, um, we have an application that uh, application map that has a, a appeared as applied rate has been selected we can also view the target rate and the application speed we also have the option at the top to look at tillage seeding harvest as well so if we were to go up here and view all fields we can select our demo field one for instance we have 2021 corn seeding variety selected. We can go and select our harvest map, open that up and select dry yield. And now we can view, view that layer as well. So if we go down here to the bottom of the screen, there's this white box that says demo field one. We can click and drag that towards the top of the screen and it'll give us a summary of what, what has occurred during that task. Um, we also have the options to share directly from this field and from this screen. You can either um, send it by email, you can print it, you can airdrop it to somebody, move it to a notes file, however you would like to, to move that. We also have a link here that we can analyze the information from this map um, by selecting View Harvest and Analyze. You can also do this with all your application data. Um, for instance, maybe you are doing a fungicide trial or something like that. Maybe you want to analyze that with your yield data to see how that performed. That's where we would access that, the view harvest and analyze or um, view application and analyze. We have the option down here with our summary for total yield, average yield, moisture, wet weight, um, the same would be true for your application data. If any of this information isn't quite right, you can come down here to the edit in the bottom right corner and then um, either post calibrate or make adjustments to, to any of those numbers. Back down to the bottom of the screen, uh, with the update that was released a couple weeks ago, there is a new tab that um, is available down at the bottom called Plan. Um, we will actually have a separate video that will talk about how that's utilized in Operation Center. It uh, replaces the My Jobs app and allows you to create work orders and send that uh, to different pieces of equipment for different operators. The last tab over is our Analyze function. So from here, this post application was the last one we viewed. In the top left corner, we can actually back out of that and kind of give an overview of our applications for this demo field 17. If we wanted to come up and add a filter, if we had multiple applications for this field, top right corner, um, add filter, and we can sort by products, fields, clients, farm, work, or application date. Um, so this is where you would access any of your previous data that uh, has been recorded for a certain task. If we were to select that 2020 post application, um, takes us back just like we were looking at earlier, where we can export that map or view our totals. Back to the home page. If we scroll back up to the top, as you can see in the very top right hand corner, there's the little icon um, that kind of shows a person's head. If you select that, That'll give you the option to either change to a different organization, modify your settings and notifications, gives you a link to support, or you can log out of the app. If we select the settings and notifications tab, it will actually give you the option to um, distinguish between which alerts you would like to be notified for, um, primarily for equipment that's connected through JD Link. So on this particular demo account, we have set up that we would like to receive diagnostic trouble codes, file management, geofence and curfew, machine maintenance, organization management, and terminal management. 
So for instance, if you did not want to be notified every time um, a file was sent or received through, through your equipment, we could select the file management tab and then tell it that you only want to know, um, for instance, a high alert, which is what we have selected down there. If you want everything to flow through and, and be notified, um, you can come down here and select low or maybe just an information. So this is how you can kind of dial in on, on uh, um, the different options that would be available for notifications through JD Link. If we back back out of this screen, we can return back to our, our home page. Um, in relation to the JD Link portion and those notifications, at the bottom of the screen, if we select our map icon and we drag this back down so we can actually view the map, if we had any connected equipment to our account, we would be able to uh, view an icon of the current location of that equipment. This demo account currently doesn't have anything associated with it, but on the right-hand menu side here, you kind of see um, a, a notepad option in this black box in the center bottom. If we were to select that, it gives us the option to narrow our map down between fields, equipments, and uh, flags. If we select that equipment tab, it'll show us any of the uh, equipment that would be connected to our account. So this is where you can see location, machine location, hours, fuel level, performance, and efficiency measurements. If you look, for instance, on the training S760 Combine, over on the right hand side there is a computer monitor. If we were to select that, that gives us the option to remote display access into this machine. So currently if this machine was running, it would give the operator the ability to accept this uh, request for remote display access and we would be able to, to view what the operator is seeing in, in the cab. This is a, a quick overview of the Operations Center app. If you have any questions or would like to see the Operations Center app in action, please contact your local Landmark Implement CTS or attend any of our local Operations Center clinics.